Welcome to the Kelly Cakes Podcast. Today we'll be talking about all sneaker related issues. Big Sean leaves Adidas to go to Puma. Oh my God. Cars get together with Michael Jordan to make a shoe that you won't be able to get. Oh my God. The Jordan Royal Ones. Are you going to be getting them or not? The Jordan A take flight. Are you going to be getting them or not? Adidas and MGOGs. Are you going to be getting them or not? That is the question. I am your host, Nose215, and we're going to talk everything that's shoes related. Yeah. Welcome to the news, baby. <laughs> Yo, that was so cheesy. That was so cheesy. But you know what? Drop my motherfucking bomb, bitch. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, yo, happy Thursday to everybody. That was like real low budget, man. I think I might need like a real news, uh, like a, a real news anchor. I think that would be like so fly, like a real news anchor to just like make like a weekly intro for like <laughs> what I'm going to be talking about. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, uh, yeah, so that was fun. All right, cool. So, um. We're going to make this a little bit fast because I am pressed for time, but uh, I guess I'm going to try to make this uh, every Thursday type of thing or every other Thursday, Um, either or uh, I'm still thinking about it. But anyways, so let's talk about uh, uh, these uh, uh, non-sneaker releases issues, I guess. Uh, Let's talk about these uh, two top of the stories before I even get into the shoes. Um, so Big Sean leaves Adidas to go to Pumas. Oh God. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I'm not sure what's his reason for, um, him leaving, um, Adidas to go to Puma. Um, me personally, I hope that it's not a money situation because Big Sean strikes me as the type of person uh, that has um, a lot of money. So um, I don't know, you know, his uh, his net worth for 2016 was 12 million. So I don't think he's scrapping for money. Um, so I really don't know why, um, especially with all the success that Adidas is having. Um, like, you know, you look at somebody like a Pusha T, he's been consistently on fire with his releases, you know, first using the EQT model. Um, you know, he, he, he pushes the envelope with using the same theme, but just, uh, presenting it to you in a different way. Unlike what, uh, Kendrick Lamar is doing over at Reebok, uh, Kendrick is just a lazy motherfucker. I mean, like, you know, like just... Let's just keep it real. You know, Kendrick is lazy. He gives you uh, a beige shoe and then he gives you another model, beige shoe. And then he goes to a different model and just gives you an all olive shoe. Like, you know, he's just like enough with the Crips and the Blood thing. Like just, you know, go to another different, um, you know, idea. Just go to a different idea. Um... But with with Pusha, it's kind of just interesting how he does it. Like, he took the uh, EQT model and he did that whole fish curl look. You know, he did the beige ones first and then he did the black ones. Uh, the black ones are very nice. And then he takes the same theme and now he uses it on a prime knit um, EQT model with the boost. Um and it's a gray prime knit shoe with the fish scale still in the back of it. And the material on it is insane. So he's giving you the same idea, but he's just presenting it to you in a different way. So I say that to say that Big Sean should have followed like the same model. Like the first shoe that he did was um, uh, the Detroit Players, right? With the shell top Adidas. And that was a very nice shoe. The leather on that was, you know, insane. Then he came with a black one and that was fire, low key. I think that was a, you know, that's a very nice looking black shoe. Um, And the leather is on point. Um, The last, the one after that, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was a top 10 model that he used. And 
that wasn't so great, uh, but it wasn't the worst thing. So I just think that uh, with everything that Adidas have to offer, uh, with all the NMDs and all of the uh, uh, Ultra Boost and all these type of like amazing technologies that they're having to just leave and go to Puma, which there's not much going on. There's not that many likable silhouettes. Um, it kind of makes you want to scratch your head. Um, and I just wonder if he's going to have the same success um, as he did in Adidas. So I don't know. I don't know, Big Sean. I just hope that um, if, you know, you know, whatever it is that you have that's going to drop, I hope it is fire. You know, Rihanna is having a run over there at Puma, but, you know, the the silhouette that she's using with that thick sole is not a bad look at all. Um, but that's a, like a Rihanna thing. So I don't think anybody else is going to be able to like top that. Um, and it's a female shoe. So, I mean, I don't know. I really don't know exactly what's his plan. Um, I guess I wish him the best. But uh, I think it was a stupid one. So um, let's go on to the next bombshell that dropped this week. Uh, there's going to be a... Calls and Michael Jordan collaboration on the Jordan 4. Um, the only thing that has leaked out so far is just the glow in the so uh, the glow in the dark sole with the two X uh, underneath the sole, and the sole is translucent. Um, my thoughts on the shoe is that I really don't think that this is going to be a shoe. Well, first of all, let's talk about resale prices. Easy five grand and up. Easy, easy. You talking about calls. Easy five grand and up. Um, so now that we got that out the way, um, I don't think it's going to be an easy shoe to get. Everybody is also hyped up about the shoe and calls and everything. I don't think that this is going to be something that's going to be released everywhere. And I do expect some fuckery to happen. Um, maybe, uh, you know, it's going to be auctioned. Maybe it's a one of one. Maybe, um, you know, you have to uh, donate to some sort of charity and it has to be over $5,000 in order for you to obtain the shoe. Um, expect anything except for an easy shoe to get. So for everybody who's drooling over this already and oh oh i'm gonna cop this shoe dog i'm gonna cop this shoe b this shoe gonna be in my pot in my closet <laughs> calm down because if your money ain't long then there might be a chance that uh you're not going to be having them in your closet and in fact you will see a lot of rappers wearing them to just boost themselves up Typical ones, you know who they are, Fab, Fat Joe, Khaled, you know, all the typical Joe Schmo of the uh, famous, you know, the famous sneaker enthusiasts um, of the world, of the culture. Um, so, yeah, so I just think it's, it's just going to be one of them shoes, you know, of look at me, I got money, but I really don't think it's going to be an easy shoe to obtain. So, um I think that was just it as far as um, two shoes that should be uh, talked about. So uh, let's talk about some of these uh, releases. Um, so we have the Jordan Royal Ones releasing uh, sometime in mid-May. Um, a couple of the pictures actually leaked out. Uh, this is what some of the pictures actually look like. Um, a lot of people are disappointed because... Of course, they were going to go on the same route that they went with the bread ones. Or though I don't think that it's going to work in their favor this time as it did with the bread ones. I think with the bread ones, you could tamper a little bit with the red and still not lose is its um, its look. Because just because you darken it like a little bit more it's not going to look it's bread look that we all are used to you know maybe it's not the 2013 maybe it's not the 2001 <clears throat> maybe it's not the 2001 but 
at the end of the day, the actual look, it's not lost. Um, with these uh, Royal Ones, uh, they just have a weird look to it. I don't think that they should have went that dark. Um, to me, they went a little bit too dark. Um, you know, the quality is going to be good, but I just, I'm not convinced, um, with it being that dark. Um, resale prices are going to be high again. So, I mean, that's not going to go nowhere. I'm, I'm already seeing a pre-order prices at 350 uh, to 400. So, I mean, that's not going to go anywhere. But I'm just not a fan of that color royal that they chose. Um, if they wanted to darken it up, they should have just went a little bit darker. But to me, that just looks like they turn it up like three notches instead of just like one and a half, you know. Um, so it's it's definitely a noticeable change. It's it's not something that's like real small where it's like, oh, look, well, this looks a little bit darker no this looks like a lot more darker like this is like the difference between you taking a blue crayon and you lightly coloring it to taking the same color blue and like and like putting all your freaking force on it um so yeah so um so i mean are you going to buy it is that going to stop you from buying it or not so uh so let's jump into the Air Jordan 8 uh, Take Flight of uh, releasing January 28th. Uh, box price for this is going to be 190 At first, when the pictures came out, people uh, thought that this was going to be an undefeated collab. I think there was a lot of um, um, misunderstanding. Um, so when it first came out, I think that people took what Sneaker News said out of context. Because uh, I actually went back to like their first article uh, that they wrote. And, and, and basically what they said is that it has a resemblance to an undefeated collab. But they weren't actually sure what it was going to be until January. When they did that article, I think it was somewhere like on December 8th. So I think that just people just saw undefeated and just didn't even read the article and took it and ran with it. And just called it the undefeated collab. So um, it was never an undefeated collab. It was just a reference that Sneaker News used. And people just saw that undefeated name and ran with it. Um, so it was never an undefeated collaboration. Um, so with that being said, I think that this should be an easy shoe to get. Uh, there are going to be GS sizes available. Um, and like I said, 190. Um the color is dope. I mean, you know, you can never go wrong with just olive and orange. Um, I would have wished that it would have came with extra laces, with orange laces, but that's something that you could buy on your own. Um, but besides that, I think that the shoe looks dope. It's definitely a shoe that I'm going to cop uh, because I, I liked it from day one and I am an a olive type of person. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be um, all over this shoe. Um, so... This Saturday, uh, the NMD OGs uh, are going to be releasing, and there's a big list of stores that's actually going to be carrying them. And why not? Why not me give you this list of stores that's going to be carrying the NMDs? Um, uh, for the most part, uh, a lot of these, um, I know for one off the bat, um, uh, uh, Ubik here in Philadelphia actually did a raffle that was a one day thing. It was yesterday and I wasn't going to waste my time going to the store. Um, so, um, uh, yeah, so let's go down this list. So you have sneakers and stuff, a few Cali roots, JD sports sizes, Hannon, Ubik, adidas.com, Sapoto, so kitchen, um, foot patrol, a like mate, the good world out slam jam uh 43 in lab uh, bodega adidas.com in germany uh, 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 uh 
the, the, well, there's this one store that here that says just more details. So I'm not sure if this store is going to carry it. Um, Stadium Goods and Alpha Gold, um, Inflammable, Overkill, Sneak Avenue, Livestock, Adidas.com in the UK. They're actually sold out already. Uh, Save Our Soul and some other shit that I'm not even going to try to... Um, uh pronounce yeah so those are the stores that's going to be able to, uh that's going to be carrying them um ah man this is crazy so they're re-retroing the shoe and for the life of me i just don't know why um i think that they're having a lot of success with the nmd and the ultra boost um i think that They've been able to dish out a lot of amazing colorways. And I think that there's so many more colorways that they could uh, actually do. And even like different type of um, like materials that they could actually touch on. Um, so I think if they, I think if there was like a perfect time to re-retro this shoe, um, I think it should have been sometime next year. Um, but to do it uh, this year, I don't know. It just seems kind of soon. Um, my guess, a lot of people are asking why aren't the white ones being retro? My guess is that the white ones are going to be retro sometime in the spring and summer. And that they're just starting out with the black one for now. Um, but I really do see them uh, re-retroing the white ones. I, can't, I could be wrong. Don't, you know, don't take my word for it. I could be wrong. But um, I would say that if they are going to retro on the white ones, it might be sometime in the spring and summer. Um, so uh, we have that. And in my last, last but not least, news, um, Supreme is teaming up with Nike for another collab. And it's not a Jordan collab. It's going to be a Nike Air Temple. Um, so up tempo, I'm sorry. Um, so let's see what these colors are going to be like. Um, except expect SUP to be on the side, replacing the air. Um, I think it was a very smart uh, silhouette to be used by. Uh, you know, Supreme always like to use their initials on the shoe. Um, so it definitely had to be a shoe where they could put the initials where it would look dope. Um, you know, I'm not going to say that that's, that's their signature thing because obviously there's a lot of shoes that they've done in the past that didn't have their signature. Uh, but I think that this is where they're leading towards. Um, so um, I, I, I think that this is a perfect silhouette. Um, my guess is that there's going to be obviously a white and red, white on white, black on black, and then a camo colorway. Um, so let's just see. There's never, um, there's never a set date, um, in, in terms of Supreme and Nike collaborations. Um, so technically what happens is, or typically what happens is that Nike actually, uh, I mean, Supreme actually gives out the news first. And then once uh, Supreme releases uh, the shoe on their website, then uh, Nike comes right behind and gives their date. Uh, but there's never a defined actually date that um, is given out uh, with Nike in terms of Supreme shoes. It's always Supreme gives out the date first and then Nike follows suit. Um, so yeah, um, I'm definitely excited about that. I mean, everybody who knows me knows how I feel about Supreme. So... Is it a cop for me? Yes. Am I going to be 100% that I'm going to be able to get them? No. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, that's just basically it. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely wasn't going to be long on this at all. There's definitely going to be a lot of dope shoes that's going to be dropping in January. Uh, a lot of nice 3.0s like the Trace uh, Cargo. I definitely love, love, love that shoe. And then... Um, the, the Mystery Red are going to be releasing on the 13th of January, which is actually tomorrow. So, um, but, uh, you know, I'm going to have to pass because it's like I can only buy one or the other. Uh, the resale prices on the, on the Trace Cargo is actually like pretty high, uh, for what I've seen, but I like that shoe a lot. Um, 
you know, uh, Reebok is also dropping a uh, CBTG uh, limited edition uh, with the Insta Pump Fury. Um, so, yeah, so I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff uh, that's dropping this month. I would suggest uh, going on Sneaker News and just uh, looking through the release dates. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this podcast. Please feel free to download my free app. It's available for iPhone and Android. Uh, please feel free to like this. Um, thumbs up if you like it. Or if you don't like it, just thumbs down. Um, let me know what it is that you're looking for. Uh, looking forward to buy. Um, Till next time. Peace out.